All right, so here today with Luke Fennell. Uh, Luke, why don't you just talk us through your basketball journey so far? How did you end up at this point? And yeah, just give us that overview. Um, yeah, so I grew up playing in Melbourne, Victoria, down in Australia. Um, I play in the state team last year and this year in the under-18s for the Nationals. Um, a couple of years before that, I've been cut by many state teams, like didn't make them all. Um, and then last year, really just found myself and like, was working really hard. Uh, that's when I started to kind of grow, like physically, mentally. Um, yeah, and then this year, on um, last year, I played a school nationals tournament and kind of played a really good tournament, so, and got interested by a couple of coaches and then played the Nationals again this year and now I'm at the Global Academy down in Australia, so. Yeah, that's great. And why don't you describe your time thus far with Global Academy? Uh, how has that helped develop you mentally and on the court? Uh, it's been amazing. It's been like just developing as a pro. Like some days are very hard, some days are really easy. Some days, like, you just got to get through it. So it's just really good development, like getting me used to the pro environment, the college environment, you know, living with some of your really good mates, like, you're living with other people, so like you can form really good friendships. Um, and the development there, like the best coaches in the world, like the best strength coaches, best skill coaches, like it's all you need down there. So it's really good. Absolutely. Yeah. Why don't you talk about uh, talk about your game a little bit? What are some strengths of yours and some areas you're looking to improve? Um, so my game, uh, my strengths, I think, uh, come off the pick and roll and finding the, sh the roller, the shooters, or creating my own shot, especially on a three-pointer, a bit of a step back or get on the rim. Uh, I like to improve on my passing, just like whipping it out quicker and finding more players. Um, and also speeding up my, my handle a little bit and crawling up on the wall on defense. So. Right, and how would you describe yourself as a player if you had to do it in just a few words? Uh, a tall point guard who who can really find players and just make his teammates better. For sure. And um, talk a bit about your work ethic. You know, uh, what kind of training regimen do you have? Uh, what motivates you to work hard? Just give us an overview of that. Uh, I feel like I'm a really hard worker. Like, even when days when I don't want to do it, I'm still in the gym, like, still putting in all the work. So, um, there's no real inspiration, but if I had to, it'd probably be my grandparents, just like, knowing that they're, they're always supporting me. Um, they're always there, even my family, like my whole family. Um, yeah, so that's about it. I'm just always always trying to get in the gym. Yeah, why don't you give us a quick overview of your family background? I believe your older brother played, correct? Yes, okay. he did. Yeah, yeah. I think I saw him against Josh Giddy back in the day. Yeah, wow, yeah. okay, yeah. 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 Okay, wow. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, do you have any other athletes in the family, or is it just kind of your brother? Uh, my younger sister plays. She's she's big, like she's, yeah, she's big. She's really good. Um, she plays at Knox down where I used to play at. Um, but that's about it. Um, no one else really played real hard. Like my 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 dad, my mum both played. Um, my grandpa played, but that's about it. Gotcha. And um, okay, so let's talk about maybe recruitment a little bit. So obviously you're out in Australia, um, but your college isn't completely off the off the table for you, right? Yeah. So you have some interest in playing college basketball? Yeah. So I'm just yeah, trying to keep it open, yeah. Gotcha. And have you heard from anybody yet? Or are you uh, like still relatively like new, early in the process? I think I'm still pretty early in it, like still learning about it all. Um, so I haven't really heard from many coaches, but gotcha. I'm still learning about it. And uh, if you were to hear from coaches, what kind of programs would you want to hear from? Obviously the big ones, like my favorite, Duke. Uh, Kentucky, Arizona, uh, Texas Longhorns, um, and maybe Purdue. Gotcha, so some big schools, right? Yeah, that's okay. yeah. So do you like the lights a little bit? Do you like competing under them? Always, I always like coming out, playing on the big stage, that's my favorite part, I feel like I can always perform, so. Okay, and what would be the elevator pitch for you joining one of those teams? If you were to walk up to a coach and say, this is why you should recruit me, like, what would you say? Um, because I can make the team better, practice, in games, I can always get there, support my teammates, um, bring energy, and I can hit some big shots when I need to. Absolutely. And uh, let's talk about off the court a little bit. Uh, do you have any unique interests or hobbies outside of basketball? Um, yeah, so I, just, I love going to the beach. Um, it's hard to do in Canberra, but when I'm down at home in Melbourne, I love going to the beach. I'm just hanging out with friends and, yeah, just sitting on the sand. Gotcha. And um, what else is important to you outside of basketball? Uh, family. Family's big time. I love my family. Uh, also, my friends. Always got to stay close to them. 
Um, but that's about it. Um, I don't really think about it too much. Just want to keep close to my friends and family. Gotcha. And um, if you had to be remembered at the end of the day for anything, what would you want to be remembered for and why? Just being relentless and like when nothing's going my way, just still going at it and like having the like being really persevere. Um, just keep going at it against all the odds. So. Gotcha. And um, a couple more questions, then we'll be done here. But how would you describe yourself as a teammate, like as a locker room guy? Locker room guy. I feel like um, I can. I'm, I'm very. I can talk, but I feel like I'm more lead by example type of leader. Um, yeah, but I love getting around the guys, like off the court, and love talking, laughing. That's my favorite part about it. But um, more of a lead by example. All right, I got you. And um, last question then: If you uh, if you woke up to find a fortune in your bank account, say you got NBA contract or NBL contract, whatever it may be, um, what would you want to use that money for? Um, so first, I'd help my parents, make sure they don't work another day, help my older brother. Um, and then, I don't know, I'd maybe go train myself by a jet ski or something. <laughs> All right, Luke, appreciate your time. Thank you, All appreciate right. it.